Okay. So as, as like a beginner, right. As, and even as an, as an experienced um, freelancer or, or agency owner, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you're the type of person that wants to go out there and get clients on social media, like social media clients, social media marketing clients, or, or in your case, Facebook advertising clients, mm-hmm. I, I truly believe that the branding on your platforms is where it starts. Because as you start to message people on social media, because that's where you're going to be messaging, you're not going to be cold calling, you're not going to be going door to door to the different businesses in your local area, you can you can reach anyone and everyone on social media. And it could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, it could be LinkedIn, it could be Twitter. Those are the top four that I would recommend pick one of those you don't need all four, you just need one Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. Now, now you, you want to have all of them active. You want to have accounts and, and your platforms active, but for prospecting, for prospecting, for trying to reach clients, for trying to message new clients, you just need to do it on one. So what I did since 2016 is I did it on Facebook. Okay. So, so my whole strategy over here was to, was to come over here and, and type in my niche whatever niche you're thinking of. So if I, if I simply type in dentists, Mm -hmm. I come over here to my personal page, not the business page. You just come to your Facebook. And if you don't have a Facebook, you have to set one up. Um, But I, but, but here's what you do first. You come over here, you type in that, that word, and then you go to people. I don't want the pages. I don't, I do not want to message people on their Facebook page. I want to connect with them under people. So Mm -hmm. whatever the niche is, you type it in and you click on people and you'll see a bunch of people that pull up and, and you don't need to click on each one of them because that's going to be time consuming. All you want to do is come down and, and if you see a person's face, not a logo, right? This logo, I don't want them. Um, mm-hmm. This other, this, this, let's see if there's another one. Um, this logo, I don't want them. That logo, I don't want them. I want mm-hmm. the real person, right? I want a real person a real profile picture. So this is what I did. And this is what I'm, I'm, I'm recommending you do. Cause this is simple. This is free. It takes your time, but it, but, but it's free, right? It, it just, it's the only cost is your time. So here's what I did. I, I searched my keyword. I found people and all I'm looking for is, is the picture. And I'm looking for this. I don't want to click and have to go to their page again. That's too time consuming. I just want to look right here. So here's all I'm looking for is I'm looking for a personal profile and I'm looking for this sub headline. If this says dentist, I click add friend. I go down San Diego dentist, add friend. Um, This guy right here, DK dentist, add friend. Um, This right here, new smile dentist, add friend. That's what I did. And I did that in 2016 and I started requesting nothing but nothing but my niche. And today I have, you know, I maxed out at 5,000 with Facebook, you only get 5,000. So Mm -hmm. with my friend list, every single one of them, every single one of them is in my niche. That's where it started. That's where it started. Okay. And then the second thing I did is I needed to make sure that my pages were optimized. I needed to make sure that my platforms looked good. And, and that's why I tell my son all the time, because he's starting to get into social media, you know, TikTok and really trying to find his way online. And I'm telling him the basics of branding. When, when people come to your page and they look at your links, this stuff matters. This is marketing. This is branding. And my son still don't get it. But I'm trying to make him understand where it's like, dude, this is basic. You need to listen to what I'm saying, because this is your brand. And this is what people look at. So this is step two. Step one was go and find that niche. Request all of them. Okay. That's, that's step one. And then step two, actually, you know what? I, I, it could go the other way around. This is step one. And then, and then finding your niche is step two, but here's what it is. Here's a step. If you notice right here in my intro, these are my social media platforms. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look close, every single link link is identical. That's mm-hmm. basic. And so when you start to look at these businesses, none of them have it like that. The dentists, I could show you all of them. No one, I've seen thousands and thousands of pages, personal pages. No one's intro looks like this. 
So just as a beginner, you have to look professional. You, your branding has to look, look good. And this is where it starts. So right here, this is a link that goes straight to your business page. And then down here, we have Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, and the website address. Everything is one name. That's where it starts. So if I go to your personal Facebook page, I already know it doesn't look like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So when you come across my page and you see that right, right away, a person can think that I'm professional. Maybe they think that I'm that I'm that I'm credible where I have credibility, you know, but they look at that and, and, and the name stands out inspired energy. One name for all, not a different name for Twitter, not a different name for TikTok, not a different name for Instagram, one name for all basic. So this service right here, this was a basic service that I started offering clients in the very beginning, where I would come across their page, I would request a dentist, for example, and then I would come across his page and, and then I would send him a message. And I would say, hey, hey, John, this is David. Hey, I, thank you so much for requesting me or thank you so much for accepting my friend request. I noticed that you're a dentist and, and very successful. In fact, I help dentists with Facebook advertising services and social media marketing and branding. I'd love to give you some free tips if you can schedule a call with me, or I'd love to schedule, I'd love to give you some free tips if you get a minute later on, right? So, so all I'm doing is I'm messaging them and saying, hello, I'm saying, thank you for accepting my friend request. I'm letting them know, I'm, I'm saying, hey, I, I noticed that you're successful in dentistry. I run Facebook ads for dentists. I'd love to give you some tips if you get a minute. And that's it. And now that, that's the first message that I would send people. And then when, when, when they would reply back, they would say, David, social media. Yeah. I'm trying to do something over here, but I know nothing about it. And that's what you're going to hear nine out of 10 times, 99% of the time that person is going to reply back. And they're going to say, you know what? I do need help with this. I don't know nothing about social media. And, and that's what you have to understand is that these people are professional at what they do. They're a professional dentist. They're a professional gym owner. They're a, prof a professional chiropractor. They're a professional real estate agent. They don't know nothing about social media marketing. Okay. So, so when I can get them on, the, on, the, on a Zoom call and I do Zoom, I don't do phone call. I don't ask them for their phone number. I simply ask them I, when they reply back and say, yeah, I'd love some tips. I tell them, first of all, it's free. All I want you to do is give me a good review on my business page. That's all I'm asking for. That's mm -hmm. the pitch. So when I'm messaging them, the way I get them on the line and the reason why the, the way I get them on a Zoom call is I say, hey, I'll give you some free tips. I'll give you all of my strategies on how I help dentists run Facebook ads and, 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 and brand themselves on social media. But you're going to do one thing for me. You're going to give me a good review. They reply back and they say, David, I'd love to give you a review. I reply back to them. Great. Send me your email and best time tomorrow. I'm going to send you my Zoom link and we'll, and, and we'll go from there. So that's, that's the whole pickup. That's the whole pitch. That's the whole beginning. That's how I get them on the line because all I'm saying is I'm saying I will give you free tips if you give me a good review. That's, that's, that's how I get them on Zoom. And then once I get them on Zoom, I show them my page or I'll show them a client's page. I'll show them a client's page. I'll show them another dentist that I'm working with. And the very first thing I do, the very, I don't talk Facebook ads. I don't, I, I don't even bring that up right now. I say, hey, you know what, John? I understand you want to run Facebook ads. I understand you want to make more sales and capture more leads. But after I took a look at your page, let me show you what's missing. And this is where I start them at, man. This is where I start them at. So, so as a lot of agency owners or freelancers are, are trying to take $1,000 or $2,000 right away on the very first call with that person, I never did it that way. I always started them small, 200, 300, 400, 500 USD. Start small. And, and this is what I would do for them is I would, I, would, I would come over here and I would update all of their links. Because again, when you show a, when you show a, a dentist another person, another dentist's page, believe me, they understand the difference. Like, like I can, like for example, for example, let me show you. Um, let me just show you my one of my clients. 
let me show you. This is my actual real client. So when I'm on the phone with the, with, with the prospect, I'm showing, and it's the same niche, right? That's one thing you want to do is focus on one niche, not multiple businesses. Pick one. You're going to go after only real estate agents. Okay, great. Only real estate agents. Don't go after plumbers or yoga studio, only agents pick one. So what ends up happening is when I'm on that zoom call with Stacy, and then I tell Stacy, I say, Hey, you know what? Let me show you my client's candies page. And let me show you how basic this is. So I end up bringing them, bringing Stacy over to this page to show her that because her page looks like this. Let me show you what, what 99.9% .9 of every single business owner's Facebook page looks like. If I click on this one, actually, that's Christian. That's a different one. Let me click on a, an actual friend of mine here. Someone that I don't, someone who's not a client. Let me, let me click on, okay, Amy, this person is not a client. I come over, let's say I'm on the phone with Amy. I'm not phone. I'm on zoom. I only, I only do zoom. Let's say I'm on zoom with Amy. I'm going to mm -hmm. show her her intro. And then I'm going to show her candy's intro. Mm -hmm. Automatically. There's a difference automatically. So I say, you know what, Amy, I understand you want to capture leads. I understand you want to run Facebook ads. I understand, but let me show you what's missing. Let me show you the basics. And, and once I show Amy, she's a real estate agent. Candy's a real estate agent. Once I show Amy Candy's intro, automatically she wants that. And so here's what ends up happening. I end up telling her all this stuff, right? I say, hey, you know what? This is where I start my clients. I only want to do this part for you. Let me optimize your links. Let me match everything. Because a lot of a lot of the times, Amy, she'll say, well, yeah, David, I have a Twitter. Or she'll say, yeah, David, I have a LinkedIn. I have an Instagram. And the moment I ask her what her link is, they're all different links. Just like my son, all different links, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I tell Amy, I say, no, no, basic marketing, basic branding. We need everything one name. So what I want to do for you, Amy, is again, I understand you want to run Facebook ads, but we're not there yet. Let's start here first. And that's what I, that's what I, that, that's how I started is I simply would offer them that one service to optimize their social media. And, and as I got really good at that, it would take me to log in. So here's what I would do in the, now I just send the client a video. That's what I do now. I just send them a YouTube video where I teach them how to link everything. I just send them a video now, but in the beginning, I would do this part for them. So I would ask for passwords for all their accounts so I can log in and simply change the user name. That's all we're doing is, is she has an Instagram. She has a Twitter like Amy. She has a LinkedIn, but again, they're all different names. We want one name for all, right? We want one name for all. And so as I'm showing this, that showing this to the, to the, to the prospect, Amy, she's going to, she, her mind is she's excited. She's like, man, David, I need my intro to look like that. So the problem is, is that number one, she doesn't have the time to do it. And number two, she doesn't know how to do it. And it's basic. All I'm doing is logging into each platform, updating the username. And then I'm coming over here to Facebook. Let me go to my page. I'm coming over here. When I'm logged into her account, for example, I would come into her personal page because I have to list everything. That's what she's paying me for. She's paying me to, to match all the usernames and she's paying me to link everything. That's step one. So I would log into her personal Facebook and I tell her, I say, hey, Amy, you know what? I don't need to be logging in all the time. I'm going to have this completed by tonight. So by 10 p.m. tonight, let's say I'm talking to her during the day. I'm talking to her at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And if I don't have other clients that I'm working with, I'll tell her, I'll say, Amy, here's what I want you to do. Send me the password for everything because I have to, I have to log in and I have to change everything. And then I have to log into your personal Facebook so I can list everything. I will have all that done by 10 p.m. At 10.01, I want you to change your passwords. That's what I tell her. So that way she's comfortable and she doesn't think that I have her passwords anymore. I log in one time. I change all the, all the names. I make it look like candies, right? I make it look like candies. And, she, and now Amy's fired up. So all I do is I log into her account. I click on about. 
I go to contact and basic info. And all I do is I simply update all of her links. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. So I'll come over here, I'll hit edit. And I simply, it's just the username. I'll simply put in just the username and I'll make sure that everything is public because you want the public. She's a business owner. So, so no matter if someone's your friend on Facebook or not, when people come to your personal page, they need to see this information public. So, so if you notice, everything is one name. And, it, and if she doesn't have that one name for the dot com, I'll even go and get that from GoDaddy for her. I'll say, you know what, Amy? Okay, cool. You don't even have a dot com yet. And again, the, 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 the objective is to match everything. If you have a dot com and it's a different name, then we need to change everything. We want one name for everything. That's the point. Okay. And, and that's, that's, that's the magic is that when we have one link for everything, they see value in that. Okay. So, so um, if she doesn't have a domain, I'll go get it for her. I'll go to GoDaddy. I'll buy the name for her. And then I'll, and then I'll forward it to, to, to whatever website she has. Maybe she has a website with her broker, her, 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 her real estate company. They give her a website, but she doesn't have the .com. She doesn't have a custom domain, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll even tell her, I'll say, Amy, no problem. I'll go and register it. I'll put it in your name. So that domain, so you own it. And then I'm going to log into Pinterest. I'm going to log into LinkedIn. And sometimes they say, David, you know what? I don't even use Pinterest. I don't even use Twitter. I say, Amy, you're a business owner. This is not about you. This is about your audience. There's a billion people on Pinterest. There's 800 million people on Twitter. This is not about you. It's about your audience. So when people come to your page, you look professional. They come to your intro and it looks like this versus, versus the other way it used to look, which was blank. Okay. So, so this is what I show her, the personal page. And then she'll say, well, David, I'm a business owner. This is my personal page. I only have friends over there. Yeah, right. So then why did you accept my friend request, Amy? I'm not your friend. I don't even know you. You live in another state. You live in another country. I don't even, don't tell me that these are 900 friends. Yeah, right. You're, and that's the thing about Facebook. And that's the thing about anything, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. These people that start to follow you, they're not, you don't know them. They're not your friends. Like maybe you have 200, like out of my 5,000, I'm telling you every single one of them is my, is my potential client. But before that, they were my friends. Maybe I have 200 friends from school, my mom, my brother, my cousin, my, my aunt, my uncle. But in 2016, I removed all of them because my strategy was to fill up the 5,000 with my potential client. That's what I did. I moved all all of my real friends to my Instagram. That's where all my real friends are in my family. They're all on Instagram. Over here, it's nothing but agents. So, so here's what I'm telling Amy. I say, Amy, as you take your friend count up, let's say she says, you know what, David, this is my personal page. I only have friends and family. It's like, you know what, Amy? That's a bunch of bullshit because you accepted my friend, my friend request and I, and, 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 and I see that you have 3,300 friends. Those are not all your friends. Don't lie to me, right? Because at the end of the day, it's only a couple hundred that we actually have as real friends, right? It's only, it's only maybe 200 that, that you actually really personally know as a real friend, right? Because if you're a business owner, you're taking that friend count up. You're requesting people. You're accepting people, right? Because you're a business owner. That's the only yeah. reason why this is, this is even important. If we were not a business owner, forget about all this stuff. But if we're a business owner, we're trying to take all of our platforms to thousands of people following us because we're a business owner. So, so as Amy starts to starts to say, you know what, David, this is only for personal. This is not business. Yeah, right. When it comes to Facebook, people connect with you first on this page. Amy and I connected on this page. I didn't even know she had a business page until I went to go look, right? We connect with people here first. That's why if you're a business owner, this intro better be updated. And I don't care if you're not on these platforms. It's not about you. It's about your brand and it's about your audience. And I tell Amy all the time because, again, no links were listed in her intro. I say, Amy, you and I connected on Facebook, but how do you know that I don't spend the entire day on Instagram? 
Amy, Amy sits back and she says, well, David, I don't know that. You're right. You don't know that. So if you had your link, I would have clicked. I would have followed you there. And if I would have messaged you regarding real estate, you better hope you get that message. Right. So having your links up is is means we're open for business. So once I, I, I let her know how important this is for the personal page, I then take her over to the business page. I say, Amy, on the business page, the same rule applies. When people land here on the business page, they need to see all your links. Inspired energy, inspired energy, inspired energy. Every single link is identical. Mm -hmm. So again, when I show her this, and then I go look at her business page. She doesn't have any of that. So, so I'm not always showing her my page. I'll show her my client. So again, back to Candy. This is her personal page, right? So if I'm on a Zoom call with, with, with Amy, I'm showing her the personal page. And then I'm coming over here to Candy's business page. So I'll come over here, click on the link. It takes us straight to the business page. And then I'll scroll down and I'll show her over here, all of Candy's links, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. And I tell Amy, I say, Amy, does that not look a little better than having everything blank? And again, because she's a business owner, she understands the importance of that, but she's too busy to update it. And she doesn't even know how. So as I'm showing her this, I'm showing her my page or I'm showing her my client's page. At the end of the call, she says, you know what, David? I need my pages looking like that. All of my links are different. I need everything to match, but I don't have the time to do it. What do you charge to go do it for me? Well, Amy, I'm glad you asked. That's where I started people, bro. That's where I started people. As I, I, I started there. And then as I started to learn Facebook ads, then I would simply run the like ad for them. This is where we start. We're not running, we're not spending hundreds of dollars on Facebook ads just yet. We're only beginning, right? So, so, so when I looked at, when I look at anyone's business page, anyone's business page, thousands and thousands of people, I've looked at thousands and thousands of people's business page, okay? When I come over to someone's business page, let me let me see if I can find someone who's not my client. Um, let's see, Leah. Okay, let's see if I, again, every single friend is in my niche, okay? Every single one that I click on. Look, mm -hmm. I come over to her intro, nothing is there. This right here, Envision Advisors at your castle real estate. That might be the name of her business, but it's not even a clickable link. She has no idea what she's doing, right? Studied, lives from, okay, where's your website? Where's your Instagram? Where's your LinkedIn? Where's your Pinterest? Where's your Twitter? And again, this is social media marketing. If Leah wants to know about social media marketing, this is the basics. This is where it starts, right? So again, mm -hmm. I'll show her this and then I'll show her Candy's page and she's blown away just on that. Let me see if I can find someone that actually has their business page up here. Um, actually, you know what? I could just go to anyone's business page right here. So, so as everybody clicks invite to invite their friends to like their business page, I've literally looked at tens of thousands of business pages. Okay. So here's Jessica Fry, a realtor. I don't know her. She's not a client. I come to her business page and she has 135 likes. 99.999% mm -hmm. Of people who have a Facebook business page have 100 likes. This is what I call step two. Step one was, was getting all of her links up for her. Step two is saying, you know what, Jessica? You have 135 likes. When I land here, I don't know if you've been in real estate for 15 years. I don't know if you're a top producing real estate agent with Keller Williams. I don't know that you're the most popular person in your, in your city or in your town. I don't know that because on social media, no one knows each other. So when I come to your page, Jessica, and I see 135 likes, and then I come over here to my friend, my, my client and my friend Candy's page, and I see 3,500. Mm -hmm. Is there not a difference in perception? 
Is there not a difference in the way you simply see it? 3572 versus 135. Do you see any difference there, Jessica? She's going to say, well, damn, David, that's a big difference. It looks like Candy's been doing this for 17 years. And I say, no, Jessica, Candy is actually a brand new agent. All she did was run a Facebook ad. So as you're over here clicking invite to all your friends who don't even live in your state, to all your friends who don't even know you because you have 3,900 friends, but none of them know you. So as you're clicking invite to get all these people to like your business page, you've been doing that for two years and you got yourself to 135. Candy ran one Facebook ad and took hers to 3,500 in a few days. Mm -hmm. And then she says, well, David, I don't know how to run the ad. Okay, well, here's the deal, Jessica. Here's the deal. I'll run that ad for you. But what you're going to owe me is a good review. That's how I've gotten hundreds of clients. What ends up happening is that is Jessica is, is going to give me a credit card to update all of her links and to run one Facebook ad. We're not hiring. She's not hiring us to do monthly ads just yet. We're only beginning. You got to date the girl first before you throw her in the backseat of your car, right? Yeah. You got to date. You got to date them first. This is how I dated people. This is how I would take them out and date them and, and get their credit card. So she's going to give me a credit card to update her links. And that, that credit card is what I'm going to charge to run the Facebook ad. So, so here's what I can tell you. Just on those two steps alone, updating all the links and running one simple Facebook ad. Okay, nine out of 10 businesses will pay you for sure a minimum, minimum of 500 USD to do that. Minimum. That should be your pricing point, 500 USD. And those are the two services that you provide. So in the meantime, you're learning Facebook ads, right? You're learning how to get better with Facebook ads. Yeah. But right now, those are the only two services that you offer is updating their links and, and running one Facebook ad. Now, here's, here's the third service. Here is the third service that you're going to include in this package. You only have one package, all right? Your package is, includes link optimization, the Facebook like ad, and, and because you're a graphic designer, Mm -hmm. And what that person is going to get for the 500 USD is they're going to get a cover photo. They're going to get the cover image mm -hmm. for all their platforms, the cover image for, um, for Facebook, the cover for LinkedIn, the cover for Twitter, the cover mm -hmm. for, um, um, which other one do we have? We got, we got, we got Facebook <laughs> business page. We got the cover for LinkedIn. We got the cover for Twitter. And then if they have a YouTube channel with which, which most do, do not have, most are not building a YouTube channel. So you don't really have to worry about YouTube, but if they do, maybe you can give them a cover photo for the YouTube as well. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's something you can, you can easily do that. That's what you're good at. So, so, so your package for 500 USD includes the cover photo design, the like ad, and the link optimization. 500 USD, any business owner would do that for you, would, would pay you that. And all you have to do is show them the proof. That's all you got to do, man, is show them a client. But if you don't have a client right now, that's why you have to update your profile first. You have mm -hmm. to go to your page, your personal profile. You have to, you have to think of that one name that you want to use the one name for your business, whatever it may be. And you have to update all your links and get everything listed. And then, and then when I come over to here, here, here to your business page, what you also have to do is you have to run the like ad for your business. So mm -hmm. over here, when people land on my page and they see 10,000 likes automatically, automatically, they take me seriously automatically. And I show them that. And I tell them that. I say, Jessica, look, you got everyone sending you a message wanting to sell you something. But when you go to their business page, do they have that many likes? 
And, and, and it's not about, it's not really all about that. It's really about the perception. It's, it's, it's about, it's, it's, it's about when you land here, you automatically know I'm legit, or you at least think I'm somewhat legit because of my like count. If you came to my page and saw a hundred likes, you might not take me serious. But mm-hmm. if you come here and you see a few thousand, you're going to take me serious. Sure. So, so over here, I'm showing them, you know, my like number and, and, and I'm showing them all of my links. So, so, so when you're in with you, if you don't have a, a client yet to show someone else the result, you need to do this to your page first, to your personal page and to your business page, you have to update all your links and, and maybe we can schedule an, another call and I'll show you how to run the like ad. I'll show you how to run that like ad on a, on a different call. We'll schedule another call, but, um, but you want to do that to your page first. Now you can, now you can go start prospecting people. And when they come to your page, everything looks good. When they come to your page, they see a nice profile picture. They see your links. Everything is updated. They go to your business page and they see thousands of likes. Now you look good, right? Now you look legit. You look, you look like you're not a scam, right? You look good right? Because everything is updated. And, and that's where it starts, man. That's where it starts. So, so I've never done a phone call. I've always used Zoom, even way before this whole Corona crap, this pandemic, this whole fake demic that's going on. But way before that, I was already using Zoom. So since day one, I've always used Zoom because I need to share my screen. I need to show you results. I'm not going to just tell you over a phone call, right? I need to show you um, the results. And I use Zoom to, to do all that. So that's where I would start a client first is, is step one, the links, step two, the like ad. And then in your case, the design, right? That's what you want to do is, is, is give them a good design, right? A, 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 a nice cover photo. That's where I would start them. And then what would happen, maybe let's say two weeks later, two weeks later, I'll email that client. Hey, Stacy, I hope you're well. All your links look good. Your like count, the numbers are increasing every single day. What I want to do now is schedule our next call so we can start so we can start talking about running Facebook ads to capture leads. Let me know when you're available and I'll schedule it on my calendar. So what I do and it's what I do still to this day is this is where I start them. And then in a couple of weeks, I end up talking to them again and that's when I end up selling them my coaching program. And that's when that my coaching program's two grand. So that's when I end up 2,000 USD. That's when I end up selling them that higher package. That's not every month. That's one time. Because what mm-hmm. I do now is I teach people how to do it themselves. But with you, you can maybe just charge them 1,000 USD and run Facebook, Facebook ads every, every month for them. Mm-hmm. But, but it's after you've already done this part. And that's why this part's so important because just by starting them small, that gives that 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 allows you to earn their trust. Because now you did a great job on the links. Now they, they used to have a hundred likes. Now they have three thousand, right? So now mm-hmm. they trust you. Now they want to do business with you, more business because you made their pages look good, right? Mm-hmm. It didn't look like that before you got a hold of it. Now now it does. So, so that's when two weeks later, they're more, they're more willing to take your phone call, your Zoom call, because they know you already did a good job. And now they want to start capturing leads. So now that's when you start, you know, telling them about how we can run Facebook ads every month to capture leads. And then that's when you're going to, you're going to sell them your monthly package, which I, which, which what I recommend is, is only Facebook ads or Instagram ads, right? Facebook or Instagram ads. That is a monthly service. That is what people will pay you for. It's no more social media management. You don't, you, they're not going to pay you to post for them. Don't do none of that. You don't want to do none of that. This is only step one. I'm going to list everything. I'm going to match your link. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to post for you. I'm not going to do any of that. My, my, neck, my higher service, which is my monthly service, that's to run Facebook ads and Facebook ads only. Mm-hmm. That's what businesses will pay you for. Businesses, businesses will pay you to capture leads, 
They'll pay you to, to get them more appointments by running Facebook ads, or they'll pay you to make to help them make more sales running Facebook ads. If you have a Shopify store, okay, great. I'm going to help you run Facebook ads. We're going to make sales, and that's what you're going to pay me for. There's no value in posting for people. Like that's where a lot of people try to start a social media agency. They want to manage people's social media. They want to post for them, all this crap. None of that, none of that makes money. What makes money is Facebook ads. So that's what they'll pay you for. You know, you have to be able to show them res a result. You have to be able to show them that you captured five leads, 10 leads, 50 leads. That's a result. There's no, there's no value in, in posting. There's no result. There's no, there's no way to track a result by just posting for people. And that does absolutely nothing when you're posting, especially when you're posting on your business page. Like I have over 10,000 likes over here. When I post very few engagement, very few engagement because organic posting on Facebook is dead. You absolutely have to be running Facebook ads. If you're a business owner, you have to be running Facebook ads. Stop posting on the business page thinking that, that all your likes are going to like it and see it. They're not, they're not. Mm -hmm. Facebook doesn't even show that post to all your likes. So, so it's not about posting for people. It's all about running Facebook ads for them. Okay. But, but again, that's down the line. You, you, you end up, you know, running Facebook ads for them after you've already did step one, which is the links and step two, the like ad, they will fall in love with you just by doing that first. And that's just where I started, man. That's where I started. I always, I always recommend and, and encourage people who are starting to start there too. Start mm -hmm. there too, because that will get you, get you some money going that will help you feed your family, you know, pay your bills, just that alone, just that service alone will help you. And, and as you're learning how to get good at Facebook ads, that's what, that's what, how I did it. I started here and, and that was helping me feed my family. And, and as I'm learning, I'm, I'm learning Facebook ads and I'm getting better at Facebook ads. And that's what allowed me to charge people now even more to now do the Facebook ads for them, whether I'm going to teach them or whether I'm doing it for them every month, it's a monthly fee, right? But, but that's not until this first two steps are completed. Okay. So, so again, it's all about one link for everything, for the .com, for the email, for everything. It's one name for all. That's the magic. So when you can do that for someone, they will pay you and they'll love you forever. So that's how I started, man. That, that, that's how I started. And, and, and to tell you the truth, that's what I still do to this day. I just don't, I don't do the, 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 the work for the, for the links anymore. I just send them a video, but I'll still run the like ad for them. Um, and, and that's how I got a, a, a good amount of reviews on my business page. And that's how I get clients, you know, every mm -hmm. day. All right. Yeah, man. So, so pick a platform, you know, Facebook, the personal page or LinkedIn or Instagram or Twitter. You can, you can search the niche on any of these platforms. You can search yeah. any niche on, on these and, and you're looking for the people. So if I go, if I go plumbers, I'm looking, I'm going to type that in and I'm going straight to people. I want to request you as a friend first. Okay. Yeah. That's where it starts is become friends with them. Uh -huh. There's a picture on it. Uh, face. On yes. It. Yes. I'm looking for, I'm looking for a picture Oh yeah. and, and I'm looking for the, the, the sub headline to say something about plumbing or maybe even the name up here, AJ plumbers. That that's good. I'll, I'll add a friend and then I'll, and then I'll keep going. And then, and then I want, I want to, to look for a real person. Like I want to look for the real people, John Weld plumbers right here, add friend, mm -hmm. you know, so that's where it starts. And then what I would also do real quick before I let you go is I would, I, here, here's how you want to look at it. Here's how you have to approach it. You have to approach it as a genuine person. You have to actually become friends with them. So as you request everyone in your niche, start clicking like. Start commenting, right? Start commenting before, like, don't, don't comment anything about business. Comment something, give them, get, make them feel good about this post. Look, the best, the best things in life begin with the letter S. I'll come over here, I'll give it a heart, and I'll say, I love this. Nothing about business, all about just giving them praise of the post. And then I'll come over here again. Let's see, Bailey. Bailey, this is actually, that's an ad. Jessica Smith, right here. Look, this is a picture of her profile picture. Awesome picture. Awesome picture. 
Great job. So I'm actually, not only am I liking it, but I'm commenting something genuine, right? Mm -hmm. and, and now here's what's going to happen. This person, Jessica, she's going to receive the notification. And that notification is going to say, David just liked your post. David just commented. So what I want to do is I want to get my name going in the newsfeed. I want to get my name going in everybody's notifications. I want people to see my name, right? I want them to see my name. I want them to know that I'm a cool person. I want them to know that I'm actually looking at their stuff and I'm sharing their stuff and I'm commenting on their stuff. I had a pleasure of working with David on his purchase. Please, please help me say congratulations. I'll put over here, congrats, David, right? Congrats, David. And, and I'll just spend not a lot of time, maybe maybe an hour a day, one hour a day. I come to the news feed and I just like and I comment on everyone's stuff. One hour a day. Uh, to those people who are already your friends, yes? To everybody who's already my friend. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yes. And again, as I keep saying, everyone who is my friend is in my niche. There's mm -hmm. not one friend that I have from school, not one neighbor, not one cousin or not one aunt or brother or sister or mom or dad, none of them, none of them are in this 5,000. None of them. It's all my niche. Now, mm -hmm. that's not the same 5,000 since 2016. I'll have a few people unfriend me, I'll unfriend a few, and no one even cares. No one even notices. No one knows me, right? You got to understand that, man. No one, no one knows their friend list, like maybe a few but again, as you take that number higher, and the only reason why you're taking it higher is because you're, you're a business owner. So we're thinking, okay, if we can have thousands of friends, maybe someone's going to buy our stuff. That's how we think normally. So, so as far as us really knowing them, no, we, we don't know. We don't know them. You know, so, so as un people unfriend me, or if I unfriend others, I just request more. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'll always keep it at 5,000. You'll always see this number at 5,000. Always. Because a few will drop off and I'll request more right away. Right. Okay. And then, and then I'll, again, I'll spend an hour a day and I'll like everybody's stuff. I'll comment on everybody's stuff. I'll share everybody's stuff. And everyone's in the same niche. So, so I'm sharing, you know, with real estate, for example, I'm sharing everybody's stuff. Like, like right here, actually, yeah, two full days of building. Now, now to get more rock to backfill next project. Okay, cool. So if this was something that I could share, she, they, this person, Barbie, doesn't, she's only shown it to her friend, so it's not public. If it was mm -hmm. public, I can share it. So I'll even start doing that. I'll share their stuff. And then, and then they'll comment back and say, hey, David, thanks for sharing. And this is someone mm -hmm. I don't know, but we're now friends on Facebook. And that's all I want her to see. I want her to see my name, right? Mm -hmm. Because here's what starts to happen. As I start to comment on everybody's stuff and like everybody's stuff, my name sticks out. And then as I go and message that person, now as, as I request them as a friend and they, and they accept my friend request, I might not message them right away because I'm too busy requesting a lot of people. I'm too busy messaging other people. So I might not message that person right away. But by the time I do, let's say it's two weeks later, and I finally send them a hello message. Hey, Stacy, thank you so much for, uh, for accepting my friend request. I noticed that you're very successful in real estate. In fact, I run Facebook ads for real estate agents. I'd love to give you some free tips and all I charge is a good review. So if you have a few minutes, I'd love to chat whenever you got, it, whenever you got free time. Talk to you soon. That's mm -hmm. the first message. But here's what, ha here's what happens. This could be two weeks later. And so for the first two weeks, maybe she, maybe I click like, maybe I comment on her stuff. So now as I'm messaging her two weeks later, she notices my name, mm -hmm. right? Now she's more likely to read my direct message because she's been seeing my name for the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't even care who, who the person is, right? Jen, all I'm doing is going through my newsfeed. I don't even care. I don't, I don't bother to look like Leah. I don't even care. I already know if they're my Facebook friend, they're in my niche. That's all I care about. So I don't, I don't, I don't even care. Like a lot of times I'll close my eyes and I'll just scroll and click like on everything. I don't even care. Like I'll just click like on everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Because all that's mm -hmm. doing is, is sending my name to their notifications and getting my name branded. Right. 
to a certain extent, it's branding in, 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 a, in certain, you know, ways you can look at it because my name keeps showing up in their notifications. You know, and, and, and again, mm-hmm. that's, that, that's why it's so important because as I go and message them, they're going to be more likely to take my message or reply to my message yeah. because they've been well, seeing way, me engage in their post for the past two weeks. Mm-hmm. In this way, you built your uh, social uh, presence that's, uh, with them. Oh, man, you, you, yes, you got it right there, man. You got it. You, you couldn't have said it better. That's how I did it, man. That's how I started. Um, that that small service again in the very beginning, before I even knew Facebook ads, I learned one ad, the like ad. Mm-hmm. I learned one ad in the very beginning, the like ad, and I I used that as my entry service, right? Mm-hmm. And and I yeah. and in that that alone, that income alone has has provided for my family. Um, it's what puts food on the table for my family, that one income stream alone. Okay. So, so I always suggest start there, start there. And, and as you start to get better at Facebook ads, then you'll have all these clients that you can go back to. Hey, John, I did your links. I did your like ad, you know, two months ago. I really want to talk to you about Facebook ads. I learned some new strategies that I really believe is going to help your business. When can we jump on another zoom call? Mm-hmm. Right. So you might do this one time, right? You did all this one time. You might've done it three months ago, but you're now keeping that client on your email list or keep that client's contact information because you're going to want to get back to them in the future to now run Facebook ads for them. Yes. Right. So, but that's, right. but this right here, this is where it starts. Okay. Mm-hmm. So does that make sense? It makes sense. Huge sense. Yes, man. Uh-huh. So, That's what I recommend, man, is, is, is starting there. And, and maybe we can schedule another call where I'll, where I'll show you how to run the like ad. Um, mm-hmm. I don't always show everyone how to run that like ad, but I'll, I'll show it to you, man. I, I, I like you. I, I really believe you can, you can, you can succeed and, and I, I, I want to help you. So let's schedule another, mm-hmm. another call for maybe tomorrow or, or, or maybe a few days later. Um, I have to jump on another call right now, but let's schedule another call and I'll teach you how to run the like ad. And that could be part of your package. You do the links for everyone. You run the like ad for everyone. And you give everyone a really good custom cover photo for their social media platforms. That right yeah. there is a great entry level package for anyone starting out wanting to go after clients for social media. And, and, and for those of you that are watching on YouTube, my buddy here is an actual graphic designer. That's why I'm telling him to add the third service for the cover photo. But if you guys that are listening on YouTube, if you guys are not graphic designers, I'm not a graphic designer, that could be an easy service that you simply get someone on Fiverr to do, right? I can have someone on Fiverr for $5 do me a, a nice cover photo and I could charge the client 500, right? So right. And I don't need to charge them that much, but I can, I can easily charge that client more, right? And I can just delegate it To, to someone on Fiverr, and, and now that could be part of my package. Mm-hmm. You know, now I wouldn't tell the client that I'm getting it from Fiverr, right? The client knows that they're getting it from me. But, but as a business, I get it through Fiverr, and I just simply charge the client, right? And that's a great service because as you start to look at everybody's cover photo, no one has a custom photo, right? And again, it's, 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 it's all about their business. So when you can show them your page or when you can show them your client's page and it looks good with all these services, that's when they give you their credit card. Okay. Okay. And to okay. process credit cards, what you want to do is you want to go set up a Stripe account. So go out there and, and go to Stripe, go to Stripe.com, Stripe, Stripe.com, and that would simply give you um, a free account. It's free. All they do is they charge you. 2% for every transaction, which is what every credit card processing company does. Every, every credit card charges. So with this, it's free. Um, you just got to set it up. And this is what I, this is what I use to, to, um, to process credit card payments okay. is I use Stripe or I'll use PayPal, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's how I do it, man. That's how I do it is, is, um, 
and I and I run everything through Kartra. So as I'm building landing pages, and that's a whole nother you know package, but Kartra for landing pages, for email automation, for an online calendar software, I do all that through Kartra, and that link is in the description as well. Profit with Kartra dot online. Okay. So that's that's pretty much what I do, man. So hopefully that makes sense and. And let's yeah. schedule a call, you know, in a few days and, and I'll show you how to run the like ad. But what I want you to do first is, is get all your links listed. I'll send you a video. And in fact, again, for those of you on YouTube, um, I'll link the video in the description of step one, like how to list all these links. I have a YouTube video teaching you how to list all these links. Okay. So here's what I want you to do before you schedule our next call, before I help you run this like ad, set up your pages. Set up your pages, get your Facebook up, get your business page up, um, get all your platforms up. And these are the only ones you need. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Twitter. That's it. Mm -hmm. Majority of businesses, that's all they really need are those platforms up and, 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 and listed identical, right? So right. whatever the one name is for you, the one name, you want to get the one name, whatever it is, go and set all, your, all yours up. Watch the video. I'll link it. Um, in the description, I'm going to have this video up tomorrow morning, um, actually tomorrow night for you. Um, it'll be tomorrow morning for me. Um, I'll have, I'll have this video so you can, you can see the link in the description for step one. I have a video that you'll see right here. That'll help you link and customize your social media platforms. Very simple, very basic, but I'm telling you, man, everyone misses it. And, and businesses will pay you to make theirs look like this. Okay. Okay. So, so update your links. Um, and in fact, you know what, I'll just simply, I could just send you the video right now. Let me send it to you right now. Yes. And for those of you that are watching, it's this video over here, you'll see the link in the description, but it's this video over here. Um, it is link customization, which is, where did it go? It's this one. Actually, no, it's this one right here. Actually, no. Um, where did it go? Um, It is this one right here. So how to customize your social media links. So uh -huh. this one right here will teach you how, how to set up step one. Okay. So I'll send it to you here in the, in the, in the zoom uh, chat. Uh -huh. So go ahead and, and, and look at the, the message that I just sent you right here. That, mm -hmm. click on it so you, you save it. Um, mm -hmm. You see it come through in the chat? Yes, you got, you got it. Yeah, so click on it so you can open it up um, and then watch that later on. You know, that's, that's going to help you with step one, customizing your links. Start there and then let's schedule our next call and I'll show you how to run the like ad. Okay, great. Okay, my friend. So, so many blessings to you, man, all the way to Ukraine. Thank you so much for reaching out to me on YouTube, man. I truly, truly appreciate you. So I, I look forward to helping you and, and, and helping you make an income for you and your family, man. That's what it's all about, right? Is we got to feed our family. Thank you also for your time, for valuable information. I'm so inspired. I wanted to do everything today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, man. I, I'm very excited for you. So, so start with the basics. Get your pages looking good because this is your proof on showing other clients. Okay. okay. And then we'll, we'll talk after that. Okay. Great. Okay, my friend. I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Cheers.